Let's go to the beach, beach, let's just get away. Then say what you want to say. What's up? Welcome back to my show. I hope that you are doing well. Today is January 3rd. Yes, it is January 3rd. Let me take this opportunity to wish you a happy new year. And I hope that you had a great Christmas. And I hope that your new year is off to a good start. I'm about to make sure my new year is up to off. off. I'm about to what's happening i'm also about to make sure that my new year is off to a good start i'm heading to the beach today um i actually have a annual tradition where i like to ring in the new year by taking a full body dip into the ocean i don't know about you but i personally believe in the cleansing and resetting abilities of the ocean uh so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be heading to the beach to do our annual wash cleanse and reset to start off the new day i mean the new year i literally do not know which swimsuit to wear i know i want to wear blue you know because i want to feel as one with the ocean but i don't know all right this is the first option this is Nir this is actually nirvana empire monday wear yeah Nirvana, big up yourself. This is another blue, and this is another blue. Let me know which one you prefer, A, B, or C. As I mentioned before, it is January 3rd. Um, ideally, I would love to do this cleansing ocean dip at the last day, on the last day of the year. But unfortunately, it was raining on the 31st, so I just decided to wait it out a little bit. I was definitely not gonna go to the beach on the 1st because I know it's gonna be crowded. Definitely not on the second. The second was also a holiday. I know that's going to be crowded. So I decided to just wait it out. But today is the third. So we can't let too much of 2023. We can't let too much of 2023 roll on before we take our cleanse. It's a really hot day today. You can see I'm literally sweating. So it's a perfect day to go to the beach. And no, I did not put on a full face of makeup to go to the beach. I am not that girl. I was actually filming some content for my YouTube shorts. So ensure that you hit the subscription button so that you don't miss any of the content that I upload. Whew. Well, I'm already ready to go. So let's go to the beach. Beach, let's just get away. Then say what you want to say. One more thing before we go, right? So, you know, everybody has their new year resolution. New year, new me. Well, not new me necessarily, but old me. Because what I remembered, remember there was a time in my youth when I was really diving into my creativity, I used to make jewelry, I used to do art. There's just so much different things that I used to do when I was young. I used to sew. There's just so much, so much. So for this new year, I made myself a resolution that, I, that I'm going to tap back into some of those hidden old talents that I've buried over the years for whatever reason, I don't know. For whatever reason, I don't sew anymore. I don't you know, like make art and jewelry and stuff like that. But anyway, I decided to change that up for the new year and I started an art project and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Hold on, I'm just giving you a little teaser. It's not complete. It's not complete. I still have like some painting and stuff to do, but hold on, hold on. This is my most recent project that I'm working on. I am so, so excited about this. I have to like paint it and, you know, just complete the whole, uh, the whole vibe but I had so much buttons I've had so much buttons for so many years and I just haven't been using them so I decided to make an art project with it yeah! now hours later and I am finally making my way to the beach so hear me out hear me out I do have a logical and good reason so one of my desires for the new year is to be you know just make more wiser financial decisions so I'm just about to leave the house to go to the beach and then I'm realizing that lunch is this close to being ready. So I'm thinking to myself, well, obviously I'm going to the beach and I'm going to buy something to eat. No, we're going to make a wiser financial decisions in 2023. I decided just to wait a few minutes, about a half an hour or so, about a half an hour or so. And now my belly is full and I'm going to the beach to swim. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now I am in literal awe. Silly me talking about school open today and the, place, the beach is going to be empty. Damn. I need to find a little corner. <laughs> well, if you cannot beat them, then it's best that you join them. I'm getting a chair and I'm going and set myself up right by the jetty. Mm -hmm. In keeping with my tradition to start up the new year, it is I have to jump off the jetty. That's literally why I'm here. To jump into the ocean, symbolizing jumping into the new year. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're here. I'll manage, I'll manage. I'll manage. Okay, take it, take it. <laughs> okay, peoples. So the guy who brought the chair for me, he's basically telling me that I should, he's insisting that I wait until this boat leaves because, you know, engine vibes, we're trying to get crushed right now. So I'm just chilling out. It's a little disappointing because there's so much people. My whole vibe was to, you know, just come and chill back and have a more quiet, private time. But it's all right. We'll make it do. While I'm waiting for the boats to exit, I'm actually gonna dive into this book right now. This book is called Force Right, and it's written by Cindy Mackenzie. She's a Grenadian lady, a very, very sweet woman. She gave me this book um, towards the end of last year and she actually signed it to me. It says to Krista, enjoy the journey with the gratitude. See Mackenzie. It was actually given to me on the 5th of November, 2022. But one of my goals for this year is to, you know, do a bit more reading. So I'm going to try and at least do one chapter today. A chapter a day you know we'll see how that goes but i'm gonna start this book today because it was given to me a long time ago she gifted me this book and i just feel kind of bad that i haven't read it as yet so i'm about to start reading it and what just happened to me my shades literally just disassembled itself and i somehow managed to find this tiny screw in the sand wow i'm impressed i'm actually quite impressed that i found it okay i know i said that cindy Cindy's Grenadian, but I didn't realize that the book was going to be in literal Grenadian dialect. Hold up, hold up. Okay, basically, it's talking about daddy sleeping on the bed. I want, I want to go and lie down by daddy, but mommy take up all the space on the bed. I shake mommy. She opens she eye. Go back and sleep, child. It's early still. I pull out a potty from under the bed. It nearly full with pee. Pee splash up on my back. When I stoop down with the mosquito. <laughs> dive inside the ass. He slapped the ass hard, but the mosquito get away. No, I'm dying. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot. Yeah. Just finished reading one chapter of the book. It was actually quite amazing. The crowd is almost there we're almost ready to jump into the jetty i'm just here building up my excitement it's very exciting not only is it my first is the lighting oh the lighting is better over here not only is it my first um dip into the ocean for the year but it's also my first time going for a swim since i have cut my hair you don't understand this is very very big for me because after all of the research that I've done on locks, I have never heard anyone, nowhere, ever mention how much dreadlocks would affect your, your swimming. Like how much of a challenge dreadlocks brings to swimming. I came to the beach one time and I tried to go for a swim and my hair was so heavy. And it kept pulling my head back and pulling my head back. And it was in that moment when I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to have to cut my hair. And this is a while ago, okay, and it got so long that I realized since I since I locked my hair, I actually came to the beach a lot less because before when my hair was loose and I would come to the beach and then I step out and in like 15-20 minutes it's dried or almost dried. 
with the dreadlocks i mean i would go home and wake up sleep and wake up the next day and my hair would still be wet so you know it was a really challenging experience for me in that aspect i mean it has its it has its freedom as well but it also has its limitations yeah but i'm still here waiting for the crowd there's still a few people there on the jetty you know we're just chilling out giving them their time and we're gonna go for the big jump and also i decided on the two-piece space as well. I don't know. I don't know. This man is taking a risk out here. <laughs> Woo! That's lit. Lit, lit, lit. Yes, sir. Big up yourself. Big up, big up. <laughs> it's crazy how this guy walks in the sand with that. Mad. all right so i think this is the best that it's gonna get i am ready for my big jump all right um what is how does it go again uh, and, and with that the 2022 season anyway whatever that guy from tiktok said run the audio and with that the 2022 season comes to an end good night literally the perfect way to end off 2022 and bring in a new year yo <laughs> do you see that dark spot right there oh, it's seaweed but it literally startled me i got so scared anyway back to the view Off, I'm gonna leave you with a final view of the sunset. It is just about to go down behind the mountains. So beautiful. Check it out. <laughs>